How's it going, everybody? How you doing? Sorry, it's been a while since I made a video and posted a video. I uh, been sick, and then the holidays happened, and you know all that kind of crap. Anyways, we're gonna start the new year off great by uh, doing an unboxing on the Vape Box monthly subscription. Uh, I am sorry to say, it has been a while since I received one of these. Um, and it's just basically because I missed the uh, subscription. Um, it's hard to explain. Basically what I did was I missed the deadline for December's box, even though I got November's box. So it skipped. I paid in December and got January's. So we don't have December's. But I've got to do December's for you. And I am also, again, sorry. Because I got this before going to work, and I got really bored on my break, and I couldn't wait any longer, so I didn't open these. I have not tried anything, though. I did smell them, but I have not tried anything. So I'm not going to do the whole, like, down, you know, let's see what's inside, hot, you know, surprise thing. But it's still, I'll be doing a tasting on it. I'm going to use uh, our first uh, item in here to help me do that. And we're going to taste everything. I'm going to put new wicks in my RDA, clean my RDA, and all that kind of good stuff. I'm going to tell you how they taste right here, too. So, looking forward to it. Let's dive down and uh, check it out. All right, here we go. I got the uh, nice little vape box thank you for subscribing card. Uh, the pamphlet you get every time you order a vape box. La, 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 la. Same thing as last month, pretty much. The like little flavor tablet order thingy, which I'm not going to read because it's going to ruin the surprise. All right, I'm going to unbox the first item, and it is this really cool sleeve. I mean, it looks kind of dorky, but uh, if you know you're putting your mods and your mech mods in your pocket and stuff like that, you know, keeps it from. Uh, getting all dirty, put your juice down in there. Um, or if you really do feel like being a nerd, you can hang it on your belt like a fanny pack. Um, yeah, but that's cool. I, probably, I might use that. Don't know yet. The, oh, there's a couple more things. There's a flavor card. Another flavor card. A sticker, and I think that's actually cooler than last one, so I might actually use that. A... Uh, other, other kind of flavor card and thingy. All right. I'm actually going to put this down here. Sorry yeah. sorry about the, the mess. I'm cleaning up. And the rats make a big, big mess. Plus, I was doing some hammering. So. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we got this really cool looking box. And it's from the Council of Vapors. Um, and it says Kindred on it. Which, I don't know if you guys know, but Kindred is a mod that they actually make. So, we got this nice bag. It's like a, almost like a velvet. Ooh. Sorry, I had it out on the shop floor and I got a little bit of metal on it. I didn't have this out though. This is actually the mod. We got a mod this month. So, we got a mod this month. And this mod is pretty damn nice. Give you a close-up of it. I have not done a review on a mech mod yet. Or a tube mod, excuse me, a tube mod yet. Um, so this will be my first one. Um, I got a little blemish there from earlier. It's okay. It scrapes right off. Very nice uh, laser-etched engraving right there. It's uh, the Council of Vapor logo, I believe. And it's... I really got to get a new camera. Nice little bird circle and everything, and then you turn it over. You have another council vapor logo with your uh, serial number. Five ten port with a really cool design of the brass here. And then you go to the button, and it's a nice little rose pattern. And it does actually a little groove here for your you know, finger to uh, get in between, which is really nice because uh, when you're it's nice to have that little comfort spot right there. Anyways, let's take a look at the top here. 
It is a silver plated copper uh, dual adjustment pen. Just like any other mod. Let's see if I can get my screwdriver. Where'd my screwdriver go? Covered it up with all the pamphlets. Okay. Just like any other dual adjustment mod, you uh, twist out the screw. And I'm actually going to twist this one extra out because I'm going to. The second screw is kind of stuck in there. There it goes. So now you got that second one just kind of turning out. This is how you adjust for atomizers. And I'm going to put this one back in here. Just tighten it up. And I'm going to get my atomizer off my clone here. Yes, this is a hybrid top. And if you look, I'm going to do a review on this Addy, by the way. Just not right now. There is a nice protruding pen. Something you always need to watch out for when you do hybrid tops. You need a nice protruding pen on your RDAs. So I'm just going to screw it down. Bloop. Like that. And then this big pen. So you have two pens. Again, there's the top pen. And there's a bottom pen right here. I'm going to turn that bottom pin just so it's snug. Not tight, but snug. All right. Got that all taken care of. We'll worry about the second one here in a minute. All right, we're going to take a look at the button now. This button's kind of nice, actually. Um, I'm not sure if it's magnets or springs. Um, I think it's a magnet, but it's a pretty loose magnet. You can't actually take the button itself apart unless you have the right tools. I actually do, but not here, so I can't take it apart right now for you. The little snap ring right there, and I think that's a magnet right there. But it's a nice, nice button. It's nice and smooth. I don't know if you guys can hear this. It does a, it makes a little bit of a noise, but not too bad, because you're not gonna have that much of a throw. You do have vent holes right here for battery, uh, battery venting, if that ever happens to you, which it has happened once to me. Not for my own fault, though, because of bad manufacturing. And then if you actually look down here, this is actually really cool. This is actually how it adjusts for your uh, battery throw. Um, and I believe this is automatic adjusting, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. And there's a magnet right there. And if you look real close, yeah, you kind of see those little holes. It's kind of hard to see with the black. But... Um, that is also how the batteries, if they vent, the air goes down through there. All right, and this is actually the coolest part. This is actually a two-section mod, but you can't tell. It is almost perfectly seamless. And I've, I'm, I'll be honest, I've never used this, the battery that goes in the, that bottom section like that because it's just not enough voltage for me. Or uh, I'm sorry, Ambridge. So I never, I've never used them, but people from back in the day should know what they are. <laughs> no offense, guys. But uh, the machining on these threads here, it's kind of squeaky. I don't know if you can hear that. Being a uh, working in a machine shop and, and knowing how that shit works, uh, the squeaky's not good. It's not bad, but it's it's easy to fix if you know what you're doing. There is a locking ring on this. Oops. Sorry. It's reverse threaded. I always get that confused. Right there. And the button will not fire. I turn it the other way. There we go. Alright. So, I'm going to get my battery out. What did I do with my battery? There we go. Yeah, it's a crap off-brand battery. Sorry. I've actually got my good battery in here, but in the uh, the clone, but it's about dead. I don't want to do that with a dead battery. So what I'm actually going to do is put the battery in there, positive side up, with, I'm going to assume all mods, unless I see different. And I'm actually going to just to screw it down with that pin protruded, so I can actually get an idea. And see, see there's a little bit of a gap right there. That means that the pin needs to go up a little bit because that pin's connecting and it's not touching all the way. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. 
reverse threading is all you gave me. This is how we're adjusting for battery rattle. Screw back in. Still a little bit more of a gap. These threads, I'm going to be honest with you, they're not the best. I've seen better, but they're not horrible either. All right, so we're on there. All right, no battery rattle. All right, push the button. And we're making a contact. That's good vapors. This is the Arkin, by the way, by Cloud Chasers Incorporated. I love this atomizer. This is my favorite atomizer. Uh, used to be the Velocity clone, but this one has come in very uh, has, has surpassed it by far. Not because of how it is to build. I love the Velocity for how it's built, but this it, it's actually the airflow that I love so much on this. I'll talk more about that later. All right. So this is actually what we're going to be using to chest our juices on, if you couldn't tell. All right. I'm going to go throw some coils. I mean, uh, clean my coils up, throw some new uh, cotton in, and we're going to test, show, see what else we got in the box, and uh, we're going to test it out. Ooh. Well, uh, the mod certainly hits a little on the hard side. I mean, not as hard, hard as a hybrid mod, but it hits, it hits nice. It hits nice. It's not bad. This is the, uh, the vert, sorry, I'm getting a little sleepy. It's, oh, hey, it's 12 o'clock on the dot. Happy New Year! Woo! Welcome to 2016, guys. Um, no, but this is the uh, the version 1.5. They do have a version 1 and a version 2. Um, I, I don't know the difference. I, this is the first time I've actually knew that Counselor of Vapor actually made a mod. Um, I'm just now getting into the whole mech mod thing. Uh, but, you know, anyways... Let me tell you my opinion on it. I guess I love the button. I actually do. I love. I love the button. It's a good button. It, it's. It's not squishy. You can like. I mean, it's a button. You can tell when you're hitting it. You can tell when you hit that mark. Um, the locking ring. I'm. I'm not a big fan of locking rings. Sorry, phone. Uh, I'm not a big fan of locking rings. I mean, they're nice, but I'd rather just have the button recessed into it so I can just pick it up and say, boop, instead of, here, let me unlock it, you know, twist it five times, and, oh, oh, look, the battery cap, the, the bottom cap came off, too, while I was unlocking it, you know. I'm not a big fan of them, but anyways, um, it is nice machining, with the exception of the threads, um, the, but they're not too bad. Um... I do like the look of it. It is a beautiful mod. A beautiful, beautiful mod. Uh, the roses. I, I'm not a girly guy or anything. I, I don't really like flowers all that much. But the roses are actually a nice touch. I kind of like them. But I more so love this emblem right here. The bird thing. Oh, that's pretty damn cool. That's aesthetics though. Um, it, it's it's a nice mod. I mean, that's that's pretty much all I can say about it. It, but I think I did look it up. It, it's running for, I believe, forty dollars. I'm not a hundred percent on that. I have got a nick in it already. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, I'm not a hundred percent on that, but it is stainless steel with the brass button or the brass uh, ring on the bottom and brass top cap. All the contacts inside are copper, copper, silver plated copper. Um, but yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, you guys can't see it, but there is a very slight seam. It's very close to seamless. I mean, if you if you're looking for a seam, you're gonna find it. But if you're if you're just going, oh, cool mod, you're not gonna see the seam. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, that's enough about the mod. Let's move on to the juices. I do have the wick broken in. I just rewigged. I just cleaned my coils. I do have the wick broken in with our new, our first juice. Uh, this is from the Munchies. It's called Baked, and I believe this is a 70 VG juice. 70, uh, 70, 30. I believe. I'm sorry, my brain doesn't want to do math right now. But um, 
this is what the bottle looks like. Yeah, yeah, it's a play on stone. I don't really care. Baked. And it has the... This is kind of cool. It's got like a, a food grade. I don't know if they're trying to make a point or make a joke. I'm not sure which. Probably a joke. And my phone went off again. Yeah, wonderful. Um, but it looks like a food like label thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, but this is supposed to be... I'll tell you what the flavor profile is later. Let me actually grab the card so I'll be ready for it. Right, but let me let me go ahead and hit it and show you the vapor production. Well, you've already seen the vapor production, but uh, let me show you how it uh, hits and stuff like that. Okay, get it again. It hits. It, it's it's got a little throat hit, but that's because it's six milligram. I'm usually doing three. I'm going to have to switch my, my flavor profile back on Bay Box. But, um, that was a weird noise, sorry. <laughs> uh, but no, it does, it does hit a little hard, but that, like I said, that's because it's six milligram, not three. Uh, it has nothing to do with the actual juice itself. Um, the juice, uh, right away, I taste strawberries. Uh, not like a fresh fruit strawberry, but more like a candy strawberry. Uh, not full on candy, but like an artificial strawberry. It's pretty damn good, actually. Uh, th there's another taste there, but I'm not sure what it is. I haven't read the flavor profiles yet, so I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Uh, but I have smelled them all. And it smells very nice, too. Um, I can't tell what the other taste is. All right. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. And it, they actually gave me a 30 mil bottle, which usually they send four 15s. This time they sent me three 15s and a 30. So they gave me a little more, I think. A math. A math on the rain. Meh. But this is, this is the card. And it says, baked strawberry filled donut. Ah, oh, OK. I don't taste the donut, but I do taste something. Fresh out of the oven, warm dessert is def definitely a treat for your taste buds. A flaky roll of goodness stuffed with freshly made strawberry jelly. Both ingredients were paired to the highest, heighten your sense exist. Uh, both ingredients were well, pair well to heighten your sense of existence. Oh, um, okay. Uh, sorry. Again, I'm tired. I don't really do this whole friggin' New Year thing. To me, it's another damn day. I mean, I just got off work like 20 minutes, 30 minutes ago or so. Anyways, so not going to go into a rant. I'm already rambling. But, uh, so that's what the flavor taste. that's what the flavor profile is. I definitely taste the strawberry, and that does explain more along it, the strawberry preserves kind of thing. Strawberry jam, strawberry jelly. Um, that other taste does not taste like donuts to me. Uh, it tastes good, but I really like this one. I might actually buy another bottle of this. Uh, maybe. We'll see how I like it here in a couple days after vaping on it for a while. Uh, man, that beer's good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to actually re -whip my coils again and uh, come back to you with bro freshly broken in coils with a, another juice. This time it's going to be Marina from Frisco Vapors. Oh no. Frisco Vapors. Let the fog roll in. Strawberry candy. Strawberry candy from Cisco Vapor, Frisco Vapors, I assume. I don't know. It smells good. But I'll come back to you with Wow. All right. So uh, I actually pulled up the website to get the proper name for it. It is Marina, and the company is Frisco Vapor. You go to FriscoVapor.com and actually uh, check out the rest of their stuff they have because this one's pretty damn good, too. Um, 
Ooh. Uh, it, it's supposed to be a strawberry candy, and it tastes like it. Um, not too, too sweet. Not uh, too, too strawberry. It's very, it's not neutral either. I mean, really. it tastes like a candy. It tastes like a good candy. Like, I just popped a strawberry candy in my mouth. Um, that's pretty much it about the flavor. There's no throat hit whatsoever, which surprises me being 6 milligrams. Um, I'm assuming it's 70 PG. I'm sorry, 7... I'm assuming it's 70 BG. Um, but uh, it doesn't say on the site. It doesn't say anywhere. So I'm not sure exactly what it is. But yeah, I'm assuming it's 70 because I did put a little bit on my finger and it kind of kept a shape, like a bubble. It's definitely not 90 or 80. I can tell you that. But it's definitely higher BG. Um, but I like it. I think it's a good juice. It's a very good juice. I never showed you the bottle. Here's the other side of the little. Oh. I've got to get a new camera. There we go. Let's let the fog roll in. Fresco.com, strawberry candy. We got the, I guess that's some kind of building somewhere. I don't know. Morena from uh, Frisco Vapor. Then you got all your warnings and 16.5 and danger contact with skin, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, yeah, I like it. It has good vapor protection, too. Let's see if I can blow a ring with it. Yeah, not bad. All right, so I'm going to rework again, and we're going to try the next one, which is going to be Sutro, also from Frisco Vapor. So we're going to try that one. Ah, all right. Sorry. All right, if you're ever in Virginia, or you see ever see this beer, buy it. It's a damn good beer. It's uh, Devil's Backbone. Vienna Lager. It's out of Virginia. It's a Virginia brewing plant. Uh, brewery. Anyway, uh, I'm not here to review beer. Uh, Alright, so I've got a good... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Bubbles. I've got a new cotton. Um, it does appear to be 70 PG, 30 VG. 70-20. It appears to be 70-20. Just like the other. Um... Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to like this one right off the bat. Um, let me get the flavor profile here, and I'm not going to read it to y'all. I've already read it because I smelled it, and it didn't smell good to me. But again, this is all subjective. Um, the first one I loved from the same company, I may not like the other one because I just don't like those flavors. But I've not read it, but, but I do not like the smell. So, But uh, check it out. Oh, all right. If you like oatmeal cookies, you're gonna love it because that's exactly what this tastes like. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm not an oatmeal fan. Uh, the only kind of oats I eat are cocoa wheat, which is a West Virginia, Western Virginia thing. Um, it tastes like friggin' oatmeal cookies. Oh, it's supposed to be blueberry, too. I didn't taste the blueberry. It's probably a good thing because I hate blueberries. But yeah, it's supposed to be a blueberry oatmeal cookie dipped in milk. I tasted no milk. I tasted no blueberry. I tasted straight oatmeal cookies. But then... Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. But then again, I don't like oatmeal cookies. So that's probably... I really don't like oatmeal cookies. So that's probably what stood out to me the most. Because I just didn't like it. Um, if you like it... You'll probably love this because it tastes just like oatmeal cookies to me. Um, yeah. Let me go ahead and read the flavor profile. Sutra. Sutra. Blueberry oatmeal cookies dipped in milk. Yeah, exactly what it says on the bottle. All right. 
I actually really did not read all of this on the bottle yet, so I, that was the first time I'm tasting it. Um, it's just like the other one. That's not good. There we go. Sorry, guys. You got all your warnings, all that crap. And you got this really cool looking label, actually. I actually really like this one. Uh, and then you've got Let the Fog roll in, and then the website, and the actual thing there. I'm going to move on and get this taste out of my mouth. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't stand oatmeal cookies. I apologize. But let's get the last one done here. All right, um, I'm going to take two on this one. Um, I just tried it, and it's a. I had to turn the airflow back a lot. Um, I was going to do this whole, you know, like I don't normally do, and blow it away. Yeah, this one I, I couldn't get past a couple seconds. Um, and I'll tell you why. Menthol. I don't know if you guys have ever tried menthol on a dripper. It's not good. Menthol is great in a tank. Really? Sorry. Menthol is great in a tank because you're getting that, that good flavor, but it's not as intense. Um, you're getting all the tastes and everything, but it's not like a hit to your throat, which is what you get with the dripper. Um, and I had to turn the airflow almost all the way down uh, to get this one going. Um, so let me give it another try. Let me clean my palate real quick with a sip of beer, and we're going to try it again. All right. Oh. It tastes good. Um, it tastes really good, actually. I'm probably going to be using this one in a tank. I didn't even tell you what it is yet. This is called uh, Cucumberilla. Cucumberita. Yeah, yeah, Cucumberita, which makes sense because if you look at the bottle, there is a little margarita glass there. Actually, that's a martini glass. But uh, a cucumber. Cucumber, yeah. I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the bottle. There's nothing really to be said about it. You got your warnings and ingredients right there. On the other side, uh, I guess it's the same thing. Bottled in California. All right. What I taste, actually, I, I kind of taste the cucumbers, I guess. Um, it, it, it does taste clean. Uh, very clean taste. Um, it, it, and then you get a hit of menthol in the back of the third. It burns, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try it in a tank and... Uh, I, if I try the tank and I like it, I will leave a comment in the bottom of the, uh, in the, in the garage box down there, uh, in the description box. But right now, I can't do this in dripper. It's just too much. Here, I'll try it again. It's a good taste. It's a very good taste. Just that burn to the throat. Oh. But... Sorry, it's getting time to shave. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that one. Uh, I'm gonna clean these coils out, put some of that baked back in here, or uh, the marina in here, Maria, Marina, whatever it is. I'm gonna put that in here, and uh, one of those two, and I'm gonna close the video out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was a little bit different format than last time. If you guys like it, I'll actually do this format every time. At least you get to know what the juices taste like rather than me going, oh, hey, yeah, here's the paper profile. Here's the juice. Ooh, here you go. But you actually get to know what the juices taste like. It's a longer video. I I apologize for the longer video. It, it's just the way this format goes. Um, plus, you did have a review on MechMod, which I was surprised to get, actually. Um, but, yeah, uh, I'm not going to say give a whole spiel about vape box. I'll put a link in below to my first vape box video. And I think the first like 10 minutes has nothing but describing vape box and what the vape box is. Um, but in all in all, I think it's a good vape box. I got a couple, I got a really nice mod. I got a, a cool little gadgety sleeve thing. 
a couple of really good juices that I'm probably going to buy a bottle of each with, each of a couple of okay juices. I mean, they taste like what they taste like, what they say they taste like. I just don't like it. What I can do is actually go into vape box and say, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't want to get these juices again. Again, I'm going to try this one, actually, the uh, cucumber, cucumberita. I'm going to try that in the tank and see if it's any better. Uh, but anyways, uh, I, I hope everybody enjoys their new year. Um, I hope you started out great. I hope you drive safe, have fun, all that kind of good shit. Uh, but uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you uh, want to comment, please do. If you have any questions, please comment or email me or anything you'd like to do. I, I, love, I love getting comments from y'all. It actually makes my day. Um, seeing that like button liked, knowing I'm doing good for y'all, knowing that y'all like my videos, mm, gives me a good feeling inside. If you are squishy. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, if you really like it, please subscribe. I'd love to have more subscribers. Um, but anyways, y'all take care, and uh, have a good New Year.